meet me in extended child's pose. With your knees wide, walk your hands forward, rest your forehead down on the mat, close your eyes, and breathe. Rise up into a tabletop on your hands and knees and make your way to your modified high plank. With your fingers fanned out wide, neck in line with your spine, take an inhale. Exhale, lower down to your modified low plank. Elbows graze your ribs, stop and hold. Inhale to upward facing dog. Tops of your feet and hands are the only things on the mat. Open through your heart, lift up through the crown of your head. Big breath in. Exhale to send it back to downward facing dog. Hold and breathe right here, taking any movement that feels good for you as you lengthen through your spine, through the back line of your legs. Press your chest towards your thighs. Find your yogi hands even here. Exhale everything from your lungs. Inhale, come forward to your modified high plank. Lower your knees down, firm up your belly. Exhale, lower down to modified low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog, big breath in. Exhale to send it back, downward facing dog, big breath out. This time you don't need to modify. Inhale, come forward to a high plank. Exhale, lower down, halfway low plank. Elbows graze your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog, let your heart shine. Exhale, send it back to downward facing dog. Hold and breathe. Then step your feet all the way through your hands. Take a seat on your mat. With your knees pressing together, toes touching your mat, lean back for boat pose. Imagine your boat is similar to your chair pose, except the gravity has switched. So you want your lower belly engaged. Chances are it probably is. You want your knees pressing together. And you wanna stay open and lifted through your heart so you're not caving down towards your mat. If your lower back is starting to feel a little bit of a burn, you need to put more emphasis on your core, more emphasis on pressing your knees together, and you can always keep your feet flat down on your mat or you can lift up a little bit higher in the boat so you're not as deep into it. But if you wanna take this one step further, you're thinking, this is all on my core, let's do more, then bring your shins parallel with your mat. Ankles pressing together, knees pressing together, heart is open, everything is lifting up away from gravity. You can even straighten out your legs if you want. But wherever you are, hold, breathe, relax what you don't need. And remember that you are made to do hard things. It's through this discomfort that you will evolve and get stronger. And everything that you do on your mat, everything that you practice on your mat affects your life off your mat. You're getting stronger. And when I say that find a breath that you can control, that right there is setting an intention. It's reminding you, this is your body. This is your practice. This is your strength. Three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Find a long body stretch. Reach your arms overhead. Then from here, find a reverse tabletop. So your shins are parallel with your ceiling. Knees are directly above your hips. Arms reaching straight up towards the ceiling. Then glue your lower back down onto your mat. This engagement of keeping your lower back flat will help you target the right muscles in your core 
transverse abdominis in your core that helps pull everything in so that you can walk around feeling even stronger in your day-to-day -day life. So from here, even just this simple gluing of your lower back down onto your mat, you should feel some kind of engagement in your core just with this simple move. And if you're not, then draw your navel in towards your spine just a little bit and that might be the ticket for you. And if you're feeling this and you're like, oh my gosh, this is enough, then just stay here. You can always do this again. But if you're ready to take it one step further, then from this position, straighten out your left leg as you lower your right arm down towards the ground. So this is like a reverse swimmers. Then come back to neutral, knees and arms reaching up. Then switch sides, straighten out your right leg as you lower your left arm down. Now the lower that your limbs go down towards the ground, the harder this is going to be. Come back to neutral. Most important is that your lower back is glued down and this is all in your core. So go ahead and alternate sides, slow and controlled, finding the depth that serves you so that you can challenge yourself, so that you can strengthen your core. And the entire time, you're cool, calm, and collected. Because you're the thermostat, not the thermometer. The thermometer reacts with temperature. The thermostat sets the temperature. So set the temperature for your mood, for your breath, for how calm you are, even in the midst of this chaos and discomfort. And the tool that keeps you calm and cool is your breath. In and out through your nose, smooth and controlled. And with that smooth breath, you can remind yourself to let go of whatever you don't need, your eyelids, your jaw, your eyebrows. For three, two, one, long body stretch. Woo! I bet you felt that. And guess what? We're not done. Bring your shins back to parallel, 90 degrees in your knees. Take your hands to your thighs. Glue your lower back down onto your mat. Now, press your hands into your thighs. At the same time, press your thighs back into your hands. Oh yes. Push even harder. This is you against you. Push even harder. You're fighting yourself now. You got this. Feel how strong you are. Push even harder. For three. Harder. I know you can do it. Two. Max out. One. Relax. Just grab onto your shins. You know I yell at you with love. Big inhale through your nose. Open mouth. Let it go. Okay. Come back to your starting position. 90 degrees in your knees, shins parallel, hands to your thighs. This time, take your left hand on top of your right, on your right thigh. Then go ahead and straighten out your left leg, finding the depth that serves you. Remember, lower is harder. Now press your hands into your thigh, your thigh back into your hands. At the same time, push, 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 push. Push as hard as you can. Your lower back is gluing down for three, even harder. Two, almost there. One, relax, pull both knees in, big inhale through your nose. Open mouth, let it go. Come back to your starting position. This time, layer your right hand on top of your left on your left thigh, then straighten out your right leg, finding the depth that serves you. Ideally the same as last time. Now push. Hands into your thigh, thigh into your hands. Push even harder for three. Harder. 
two, now max out, I know you got it. One, release. Grab onto your shins, take a big inhale. Open mouth, let it go. The knees together and roll your body onto your left side with your knees tucked in close. From here, reach your right arm up to the ceiling, take a big inhale. Exhale, open up into a deep spinal twist. One more big breath in and out. Curl your right arm back in, rolling onto your left side, knees tucked in close. Firm up your core so your knees stay close and roll onto your back and onto your right side. From here, reach your left arm up to the ceiling, big inhale. Exhale to open all the way up into your twist. Allow the ground to support you. One more big breath in and big breath out. Curl your left arm back in, rolling onto your right side in that tiny ball. Use your core to support you as you roll onto your back, taking a full wind pose, big inhale. Exhale to release into Shavasana. And we've done a lot of work with your back today, so take up some space. Walk your shoulders out, your arms long. Find the position where you can totally relax over time. Then gently close your eyes to completely relax and appreciate all the sensation in your body. This is the most important pose of your practice as your body digests all that you've just done. And take your time as you roll over onto one side and press yourself up to seat it. Bring your hands together at heart center. And with your eyes closed, repeat after me. It's in the challenge that I grow. It's in the discomfort that I evolve. Namaste.